walked through the woods just to see how you um, been. Purple potted pole beans. That looks like the work of a hornworm. I brought you a pail of water and food from the shed. Yes, food. All right, here we are today at the Natural State Expo, October 13th, 2007, down in Little Rock, Arkansas. This has been an excellent opportunity to network, to talk to all kinds of people interested in the conservation of agricultural diversity. I anticipate that because of the momentum we'll gain from today, from meeting so many people interested in the project, we should have identified a lot more traditional farmers who are still growing out traditional varieties, but we should have also identified a lot more um, young people, other people who may not be from farming backgrounds but are interested in participating in the conservation of traditional varieties. We should be able to have a successful seed swap in the spring. <laughs> Yeah, I got a few uh, seeds in my pocket. Yeah. Burn it all in my pocket. I've got, I've got some more eggs here. It goes a long way. This is such small seed. I've had these about 20 years. Where'd you get them from? Um, these came from my mother in Rosebud, Arkansas. And at one time she actually grew these. Not this particular one, but grew this type of pop one. Take it. Yeah, it's a here, here. yeah. We're rich. Yeah, well, we're rich in seed, that's right. And now we're rich in this kind of, you know, social context too. Yeah. We made all these relationships and there were, like you said, young people, and that's my thing. We have a gap mm -hmm. where a lot of people, the younger generation, is, is removed from producing right. food, from saving seed, from any of this stuff. Right. I've invested a lot of time, I guess, this past semester and this whole summer, so I wanted to take off because I can appreciate the concept and it seems like a good, healthy way to just kind of help out the community and just to help out the earth, as corny as that sounds. It really comes about be talking to farmers and the fact that the farmers are so disappointed in seeing the agrarian lifestyle go by the wayside. But you do see the, the organic movement, and you do see this new local board movement, and you do see the slow food movement, and so you see this momentum in our country and, and worldwide yearning for this maybe overly romanticized past, but regardless, yearning for change, yearning for stronger social ties and yearning for a simpler lifestyle. And I think this is a great way to start that dialogue, the seed swap. And the seed swap isn't necessarily a, a, a tradition. It's not, you didn't have formalized seed swaps, but you did have informal trading and passing on of seeds, passing on of livestock, passing on of gilts and heifers. And that's what this is about, is integrating young people again into an agrarian life way where they see that they can produce food and they, they see that, that it is possible to supplement you know, what they're doing by growing their own food. And what they're doing in, in that is a very subversive act. They are bypassing the corporations. And right now we're in a very precarious position where we're relying upon so few species and so few varieties. And it's a, it's a scary place because if that continues and if the power continues to be consolidated into, you know, a few multinationals' hands, the sustenance of the world really is at risk. And so by getting people involved and people knowing that they can grow their own food, it really puts a lot more power back into the hands of the people. And so that's exciting. Yes, I 
Just to see you at all. 